tart. No, these things are massive. But no one was selling them. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brack from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. There will be a major innocent tournament. Yeah. <laughs> major innocent tournament. Ooh, let's jump in the time machine to when I might have cared. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Ben. Really upset by the way you've addressed this so casually, Jake. How do you not care about Edison? Because it's 2023. Anyway, how was your week? Well, on Monday I didn't get to play Edison. <laughs> on Tuesday I also didn't get to play Edison. <laughs> what did I you get did, to play? I did get to play at the regular tournament, but let me cover the rest of my week first. Um, on Wednesday... <laughs> I'm going to move on get real to play quick. Edison. Shut up. <laughs> on Thursday. Shut up. Bragg, how was your week? If you talk about Edison, I will rip out your hair. No comment. So on Thursday, <laughs> Bragg didn't play Edison. Um, Shut the fuck up. And on Friday, you know what? We didn't get to play Edison. Um, but on Tuesday, I played Dinos at Locals. Um, I think if I put more Edison cards in, it would have gone better. But... Shut the fuck <laughs> up, I swear to Christ. Jake's gotten this demonetized already because he's just so aggressive. So I shouldn't have I shouldn't have used either Edison either. It is uh, 2010 Time Wizard format. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. Miss Noma. Okay. Noma. I don't know where Edison is. That's going to get us demonetized because Cannabis can be like, that's not what it's called. Uh, yeah, true. Um, can't talk so... about weeks. Can't use casual names. <laughs> what else are you coming for, Mr. Konami? If anyone says the F word, we're done. Jake's already said it 50 times. Not that word. What? <laughs> if, if it was that... the fool? No. <laughs> Fun! fun. <laughs> There's no fun! <laughs> yes. This card's just not very fun. Yu Gi Oh is indeed the town from Footloose. Anyway, how did Tuesday go? So I played against nothing but back row decks. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm gonna build dinos. Like, put in like Dark Rulers in the main, a couple of the like things, and I was like, nothing but control. And I was like, hmm. Yeah. This is rough. I mean, he stomped control. Yeah, against Bragg, it didn't go very pretty. Like, I hard bricked. But had the exact cards that at his entire board, and do seven thousand nine hundred damage. Were they evenly matched in lightning storm? No, because you. No, it was like damage. lightning storm, and then like some shitty dinos that somehow still presented a bunch of fucking damage. I don't like that dinos can do things. Yeah, because I was like, oh, this is what I board against you, and then it's just oh, by the way, UTC as well. My art wall, I can't do that. <laughs> I was hoping to like live on three k. Nope. 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 Brag. Yeah, just that bad. Um, well, what a couple of games, I think. What were you playing? playing? What? What were you playing? Uh, Sentoki. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I am now on a watch list. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you even facilitated me getting the cards as well. I um, did. Yeah, playing Striker. I regret it. From Pearly to Striker, who would have thought? Um, yeah, it's fine. Engage is good. I'm considering building Sentoki. They're, they're... I mean, they've got the, like, the linkage win con's pretty cool. Like, just being able to steal games is nice and fun. But, why well, I said that Yeah, because Striker never did that before. They never don't have Hulk. Yeah, no Hulk, so effect fail oh, is yeah, the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't effect fail the game? Uh, yeah, otherwise, just... Kind of casually. Oh, I've been playing some really terrible matches on Master Jewel as well. My <laughs> God. <laughs> I lost to something stupid. What did I miss? Like, um, I don't know. You sent me a picture of the opponent's board having a set monster and Gene warped Warwolf on yeah, the board. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck yeah, is going no on? Yeah, for damage. <laughs> I'm sitting on like three Ash, two Max C. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I'll go draw something in four turns and I'm done. I've just realized I haven't pre-stopped the mic from being popped. Sorry, bear with me for a second, listeners. As I apologise if the popped. microphone has been a little... It gets shaky if you don't have something underneath it, you know? So we put the JoJo's towels underneath. Much better. To dry our bodies with. No, you, those are too small to dry our bodies. Maybe a small child. Or a pet. I'm not on a list, I swear. <laughs> uh, moving swiftly along to my week... Um, so, on Tuesday, I was still playing Dogmatica. I'm actually really enjoying the deck. It's very fun. Um, and <laughs> this is it's a 50-50 deck. 
Well, it's not really a floodgate. You floodgated someone apparently this week, and you bragged. I'll get about into it. that. I'll get. I, I did not brag about it, but I'll get into that. So you Tuesday, um, got to the finals, lost against um, <laughs> Telephone FTK. Uh, he won the die roll, did the FTK. I didn't open enough hand traps. Uh, game two, I decided to go first and opened absolute fucking garbage. I had like a droll and an imperm for interruption. I held the imperm until the counter soldier was on the board. Um, but then he just set up like Boral Sword. Yeah, that's the one. Sword. Uh, Boral Sword in a 2k. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's game. Cool. Love my awesome deck that does things. Um, and then played on Thursday as well over at Grimdark. Um, ended up winning that one. Um, so my games were against uh, Dark Magician first. Yeah. Um, I had the Ash for Ref, so that was fine. Um, game two was against Pendulum, and this is where the uh, floodgate incident happened. So um, I think I ashed... No, I drolled him on a um, Skullcrabat search. And then he's like, okay, do some more Pendulum things. Activate Triple Talons. Take your White Knight of Dogmatica. Um, what he, and at the time I didn't remember or realise is that White Knight has a uh, lingering effect that while it's on the board, the controller of it cannot special summon from the extra deck. <laughs> Jake so, told me that story differently first time he told me that story. Jake told different? me that he told his opponent that it would floodgate him out of the extra deck. His opponent then took it anyway. And you misheard. No, I'm pretty sure he just directly told it to me that way. But anyway... Uh, that kind of effectively stopped his plays because uh, that monster also has like fuck all natural attack. It has like 500 until your opponent does something. So it was just sitting there. Um, and then my third match was against uh, Guru Branded um, or Subterra Branded if you prefer. Um, basically just uses the Branded engine to get to like Dragoon or Mirror Jade depending on what the board state's like. Mm -hmm. um, the only real issue that deck presented me with was the Fenry just sitting there being able to banish my shit because yeah. like the extra deck stuff is neither here nor there for my deck I can just play around it for the most part yep. but when there's a non extra deck monster that presents a problem that's where the deck can falter so um, there's a couple of matchups I do want to test leading up to Oceanics to see how the deck performs and what I may need to side to mitigate those issues hi Seb He's out of shot, but Jake's been in the bathroom. He let the seal out. Yeah. Fuck that seal. Um, yeah, and then Master Duel, a um, bunch of stuff happened in there. Um, but, yeah, relatively fun. Um, but, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Actually, we'll get into that now. We're not legally allowed to talk about Master Duel anymore, Jake. Yeah, we are. Well, we clarified that. No, no. We can talk about stuff that people are already aware about, which is really annoying. The problem is, is my brain with Master Duel stuff all merges together, the leaks and what actually is happening. Like, I'm, like that's with the terraforming thing. Like That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. So, <coughs> starting with Master Duel, uh, we had a big update as of the 8th. Uh, so, firstly, they gave oh, yeah. um, some sleeves out for oh, um, yeah, to commemorate the pro proficiency test. Um, even though I didn't do it, I still got them. And it's uh, the artwork of Miss Judge. This one. Why don't I get it? I don't know. Because I definitely didn't do the proficiency test. Mm, I thought I did. I'm always proficient. I talked about it. Um, so, uh, other stuff we got. We got a uh, background of the Abyss actors to use in your main screen. It's meh. Um, they released the uh, Cybers field that they featured in the World Legacy. That one. Oh my god! It's actually really cool, um, and I honestly didn't think we'd get it for ages, kind of like the Magical Hall for Spellbooks, so we didn't yeah. get that one for ages. Um, but yeah, they've released that. Uh, they've got the Bistule Labellion as a sleeve artwork, and obviously um, the new pack, uh, Climax of the Showdown, <laughs> um, just released. So a bunch of stuff we kind of already knew. I mean, no, we didn't. Um, the... We figured. Oh no, we because we knew because they pre-announced the. Bounce. Oh yeah, some yeah th those ones were announced. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so some stuff that I didn't realize that we were <clears> getting in this. Um, obviously we've got all the new Abyss Actor stuff. Um, we've got the um, Xyz for gigantic sprite or whatever it's called. Um, Sargus, the searchy thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. one. Yeah, that's I've seen it a couple <laughs> times on that. Uh, we did in fact get Garura um, <laughs> as a uh, super poly target for the mirror, so that's fun. That's the reason why Rota got banned. Was it? Yes. 
Why are you selecting a deck? Because oh. it hasn't let me sign in yet. New phone. Need to sign back in a master door. Oh, okay, sure. Yep, 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 yep. Terraforming, yeah. Um, we also got no, the. No, no, no. They're gonna ban Rotor next. Oh, okay, sure, sure. <laughs> They also um, released, uh, which I wasn't expecting, uh, Baldrake. Oh, oh, early. Yeah, yeah, super early. So kind of explains somewhat why they decided to limit uh, Mag and Sarony as early as they did, because we now have uh, three Baldrake, which arguably is the better in the current meta. So we're going to get all the cash stuff at the same time then? Potentially, yeah. Next set. Order cashed off, then I will be happy. I don't I think it'll be the next set. I think it'll be the set. They're after. gonna introduce cash here and be like, oh, by the way, Rise Hearts at one, Unicorns at one, um, and yeah, Rotor to one. Uh, we also got the one. Dogmatica Ritual, which makes me very happy. Oh, yeah, um, speaking... you can uh, floodgate people <laughs> only if they don't read. <laughs> uh, I'm, but I'm totally gonna oh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. We'll negate it. Never mind, I'm not saying anything. But, uh, speaking of the Dogmatic Ritual, they also have released a couple of new events. So the second iteration of the tryouts is underway for the new version. Um, so it's, yeah, pre-cons. Um, the decks are already ready. How many Again, gems? 200? Oh, no gems. Uh, this oh, one you cool. get a loan pack <clears throat> yeah, of cool. the new pack. Oh, um, so yeah, low, oh, low investment, low reward. It's kind of just a fun thing to sort of exhibit new product for the most part. Um, so, the three pre-cons they have are the uh, Ritual Dogmatica. <laughs> um, it's not an amazing build, not that I would ever expect it to be. Um, it's got Cartesia in it for some reason, to like get you an extract monster so you can do the things. Um, like you summon Gwignol. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Those cards exist. Gwignol's everywhere, too. Those cards are in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah Gwignol's yeah. fucking there. It came in with all the bestial yeah. stuff. Yeah. These cards all came out when yeah. Kashira came out. Yeah. Where's my firefighters, Jake? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, oh, my God. That'll probably be the next one. McConko on ladder is going to be so good. Oh, we'll get to that. Uh, the next one is uh, Spriggans. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I was kind of tempted to use that. Um, didn't. Uh, and then the oh, third one right. is... I, I, might, I might give that a go, then. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then Fantastic Theatre being the Abyss Actors was the third. It's fine. Playing they give you at least, least like, although half the archetype locks you into doing Abyss Actor things only, it does at least give you some options of extra deck generic stuff. Like you've got um, Electromite and Beyond the Pendulum and Boral Sword and, and Griffin. And Cerberus. Yeah, and Cerberus and What's Unicorn the, and all the other stuff. Oh, Link. Do you get it is a member? pure link? Yeah, Boral Sword. That's actually a pretty good extra deck. It's not a bad extra deck because I fully expected them to just get their own link monsters. Like, mm. As long as it gives you a game ender, like that's a good extra deck. Yeah, uh, and then we have two other events that are going to be coming up real soon as well. Uh, so we have the second iteration of the Legend Anthology. Uh, this one is the Academy, uh, so it is purely GX decks. Hey, get your game on. <gasps> Uh, so yeah, this one you can earn up to thirty five hundred medals as like up. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, never mind. Um, you can earn gems from this one, I should say. But it's not thirty five hundred of them. It is. Uh, generally speaking, the events do get you about three three thousand eight hundred gems if you complete all of the okay. things. Um, nice, no, leaving. Um, not a lot of assets in this one. Um, so you can get a picture of uh, a Neo Space Monster that I'm not aware of. That's Neo um, Space Ultimate. Health. And then if you shut up. And then if you get to the top, uh, <laughs> you can have in your player ID Academy 2023 as a little title oh, thing. Why? Because some people like that, Ben. Give my just, give, give me an avatar. Just give, give the names for like Slifer Academy yeah. and fucking yeah. Ra. And Let me be a Slifer Slacker. Uh, it comes with three pre-cons as well. Uh, so we've got one that's uh, sort of Arm Dragon with some Neos nonsense. Yeah. Uh, we've got oh, sure. um, Bell with the fake god Thing, oh, like yeah. Rav, whatever they're called, Ravi. Come on, yeah, that one. Um, some of the, yeah, sure. Uh, and the third Raya. one, which is the weirdest one of all, uh, Cyber Dragons with Dinos. Mm. I got Dino DNA. I got Cyber Dragon DNA. A uh, big, big ban list for that one, obviously. Um, yeah, they're not really letting a lot of the modern support in for that one, oh. understandably so. Uh, Do you feel alive by going fast? No, but speaking of going fast, Synchro Event as well. 
Uh, so this one has a few. Oh, more. Yeah, it's that's herky jerky. That's all over the shop. Going from academy right into that, like. Well, as far as I can work out, they're running at the same time because yeah. the medal amount is similar to the last time we had two running at the same time, where uh, they're both eleven thousand as opposed to the twenty two hundred that they gotcha. usually do when it's a solo festival. Yeah. Uh, so this one, uh, I can't really work out what that's supposed. Oh, it's it's something to do with um, TG as like your grave and banished surrounds uh and then synchro festival 23 is the title uh so the three pre-cons uh we've got goatee oh <laughs> uh we've got red resonator oh and we've got what the fuck is this oh it's just water synchro oh yeah that well, doesn't make you already alive. have the Jaden deck why are you complaining about shitty pre-cons you say I want. I don't know. I want the UC precon. But you can't have it. You have to build your own. Oh wait, you did. Shut up. Um, oh, so I can build my own. Yes. Time to win this event. He's goatee, you say. Yeah. Just, actually, there's a challenge for you, Ben. Just play the goatee list. No. <laughs> no. It's no, got no. Raigeki in it. Goddamn. Oh. Goddamn space fish. Even though I... it's a two, it only gives you one. <laughs> God damn. <them. laughs> it's so dumb. So, we definitely see play on ladder just influxes of stuff being more popular. Like, who the hell's crafting all these random, like, flash in the pan decks? Like, obviously. Oh, oh, on that. So, on ladder the other day, I versed this fucking cooked list. So, it presented as Sprite Melfi when I first started playing it. Yeah. And then, off turn, it started doing goatee shit. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. It was so random. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, Sprite and goatee. I mean, I've never really heard thought of goatee as an engine, but Sprite definitely makes sense going across to that. But, I don't know. Give up the space fish, people. Well, unless if you really like it. If you really like a deck, cool. And like, But I would expect to see it once. <laughs> I see it too many times, like, there's no way this deck is popular. It's just because people bought a whole bunch of the new pack. There is that. Save your gems. I beg you. Save your gems. I'm going to spend all my gems the moment this finishes loading. Oh, speaking of gems as Distil. well, uh, or saving gems, yeah. uh, right, fairly soon. soon we will get the new oh, dual pass coming in. Um, so save up your gems. It's usually about seven to 800 gems. Uh, oh, no, and you get them gems. back. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what we, we get for pass. those. Uh, not that we know already. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, um... I hope it isn't a limited card. Yeah, that'd be weird. Um, moving on though, uh, so we've got some new cards that have been announced for the Animation Chronicle. Uh, the first one is for Battle and Boxes. Uh, so, um, it is... Oh, uh, wait, this sucks, doesn't it? That spell sucks. It's okay, it's not amazing. Uh, so it's, uh, name is Boxer Endurance Announcement or Ring Announcer. Um, it is treated as a battling boxer card. You special summon a battling boxer from your hand, then you can destroy spells and traps on the field up to the number of Xyz you control. I think it's fine. Um, Don't they all special summon like? No, because like... they're battling boxers. They all do like weird shit. It's like there's one that special summons if you take damage and then you gain the damage back. Oh, I, I just I've never they're, when I played the... battling boxes, I never struggled to have to go into the XZ. Yeah, but it wasn't a case of like if it's like, someone from a deck, it's like. Hey. It also wasn't the case of like if you go to a battle phase and you have nothing on board, you die. So maybe you just don't remember it being as important to like get a first turn battle in boxer. But also a bunch of the new support like cheats it out and stuff. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, just battle in boxes. Do that. However, uh, news breaking news. He's in the wrong room. Breaking for news. It. Uh, Blake has just finished sixth place in the Adelaide Pokemon Regional. Oh, so he's got points? Uh, he now has qualified for the World Championship. Yeah, finally. Well done, Blake. If... You've only had to travel, like, halfway across the country twice. <laughs> play the deck that I told him to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, but also in the Animation Chronicle, we have a search spell called Bonfire. Uh, so add one level four or lower Pyro monster from your deck to your hand. That's it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it is a once per turn, unfortunately. It's a really good card. Very solid. Um, yeah, Pyros, Pyros. Yeah, they did. They need. You can you can give them it. It's fine. It's not a problem at we the moment. We can search fire barrier statue and normal summon it. Yeah, there is that. I'm fretting that people will just use this in other decks like Fluundry. Um Firefighters. But what can you do? 
Um, is there anything else in here from the Animation Chronicle? No. Um, but we do have the uh, completed effect for the V jump that was announced a little while ago. The Over Future Fusion. It's pretty damn good. Uh, is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's on Dude, this theme. Summons a Cyber Dragon. Yeah, it's on theme. Like everyone got all keen for it to be generic. It's like, no, this was always kind of meant to be for Cyber Dragon. So I read it and went, oh yeah, that's yes, yeah, it's fine. It's exactly what Cyber Dragon needed: the ability to play on turn five. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to work out if you're being serious. I had a feeling you weren't because you tend to keep a straight face when you're taking the piss. It's like yeah, I. I... It's a waste of cardboard. There's lots of to use the assets of that card, which has been like a staple and a meta card in its own right, to then print that garbage on it is actually atrocious. Same with that fucking white dandelion shit. <laughs> yeah, like shot. Yeah, it's fucking bad. It watch them retrain level eater to just be an insect engrave, and it's like once per turn, reduce your monsters level by one. Yeah. That'll be it. Don't summon. And, no, banish this. <laughs> yeah, banish. don't summon it or anything. Just reduce it. It's... Ugh. Is level leader legal? What? Is level leader back legal? No. Oh, okay. I don't think realistically they could ever bring that card back. Uh, it's fine. It's not. You could use it in... Everything. Just so you can only synchro summon the turn you summon this from the graveyard. Anyway, uh, next card... It'll still be busted, but like... I need to sign into my account. It won't be used for link bullshit. <laughs> next card that's coming in, I think this one is some sort of promo. Um, I don't know if it's strictly speaking a V-Jump, but um, yeah, be interesting to see when and if we get this. Uh, so this one is called Flame Tongue, the Blazing Magical Blade. Uh, it's a Link 2 Fire Warrior Effect Link Monster. Uh, two Fire Monsters for the material. Arrows are bottom left, bottom right. Uh, face up traps and spells you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects. Uh, you can target one of your banished fire monsters if you do, add it to your hand, and if you do, you cannot activate the effects of cards with that name for the rest of your turn. Yeah. It's fine. Like, it is a little annoying that it's like two fire types specifically, because like, I'm sure some back row decks would love this to be splashable. Uh, I guess that's why. Yeah. Like, I get the balance of it, but yeah. I can't think really mm -hmm. that this will see a lot of play. Uh, speaking of not seeing a lot of play, we have a new trap that's been announced for the Red Dragon Archfiend structure deck. Uh, so this one's called Fiendish Golem. Uh, target the monster on the field, 2,000 or more attack, banish it until the end phase of the next turn. Then if you activate this card while you control a Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro monster that mentions it, set a Fiendish Chain from your deck or graveyard. Look, that's okay. We can set our ulti Fiendish Chains. Woo! Wait, did it come in ulti? What do I want from this card? Like when I first, like when I first like looked at it, I was thinking something. Also, I'm ashamed to admit, I never put Phoenix Chain together as a Red Dragon Archfiend card. Is it not? I mean, it is. I just never. It's on the art, isn't it? Well, it's that's in the, the, it's in the text. Is is that on the art? Of I mean, well, yeah, what so... what do you think's getting chained up? I don't An know. angel? Maybe no, it's a feed. Yeah, I just never thought of it. Like, I know, like, I guess Jack uses it, but I haven't yeah. seen him use it yet. He's and... super in a BDSM. Him Phoenix, and though? whoever is Carly. Carly? Yeah. yeah, they're both. Carly. They're both massively in a BDSM. What's the safe word, Carly? Oh yeah, I can kind of say it. Now. <laughs> I used to be the champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, oh, the master. I don't yeah, know. that was always a hint. It's always been there, Jake. The it's master of faster. <laughs> it was. He is indeed the master of faster. Didn't know Carly's name was Faster. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, so, we have the next installation of Visa Starfrost Law. Yeah. Are you excited, Ben? Are nah. you sitting down? Yeah, I am. I'm receiving Perfect. all gifts. So. Uh, this one is called Vader, or Vida, if you prefer. Um, at the moment, Farber. it's not doing a lot. Um, like, they get a cool synchro for Mana Diem that's like a level 6 extender, summons back the oh, tuner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's um, it. And then, yeah, uh, target any number of tuners you control, levels become 2, also you can have special summon from the extra deck except synchros. 
Um, there was one kind of interesting card. I think I it's didn't this like, one here. I do like the traps, but... Well, one of the traps was kind of interesting. Not amazing. <laughs> um, but basically, you banish a, a visa as you control. Um, one of the new ones calls itself visa when it's on the board, and it's only level mm. four, so it's a lot easier to summon. Uh, and then you cheat oh. out one of the heart extra deck monsters. Yeah. Like, oh, it ignores yeah. its summoning conditions. So then you can summon a rhino heart and yeah. just bounce something. Uh, but it does go back... No. Uh, banish her face down during the end phase. So, how searchable is the trap? Um, it is a normal trap. Because, like, cheating out extra deck... Um, extra deck uh, tier names would be interesting if we start getting, like, desperate for tier names. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't think we're there yet. I'm just wondering if it has any other restrictions. Uh... Can only activate was... its effects once, banish it face down. Yeah, yeah. That New Zealand tour when we saw the results of, there was no tier in that, was there? No. Not that I saw, no. Mm. No. And they're going to win worlds. Yeah, probably. Yeah. This okay. guy, I mean, well, because all the OCG players have just been playing that for 12 months. Like, no matter what you serve up with them, like, they're going to cook something crazy up. They'll find a win con and they'll be that. Yes. So we need to play floodgates imagine imagine if it actually wins that'd be so cooked we should play true draco Ugh. did you say true draco in the last 24 hours to me yes. no yeah okay yeah i'm like why have i heard this twice in two days <laughs> yeah that's far too much we play the ghost ogre jake so that we can ghost ogre their true draco traps to force their pop under the monster we want them to you pop. just said that we want to play true draco yeah 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 and then we met a game and played dinos. Yeah, I'll just play dinos. God, if those are the two choices, dinos and Draco, I would prefer death. No, no, you get to play Tier Jake. Yeah, there's dinos. It's or a tier. triangle format. Yeah. <laughs> of <laughs> true Draco, Tier, and Dino. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. It's just the tiers replaced um <laughs> zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've got zoo and sky striker at the moment. Sky Striker to win worlds. Oh, please. Oh, please, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, so moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, the link will be in the description below for our Discord. Feel Linkage. free to jump in. No. Um, Say hi. I feel like no. Was, no, I feel like there was actually another point of news that we're supposed to cover. Um, I forget. We continue. Cool. If Maybe I remember, I'll, I'll tell you. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Thank you all very much for the ones that uh, gave us some last-minute questions as well. Very much appreciated. Uh, so first question is from Froguy. Uh, what are you guys' favourite and least favourite... No, hang on. What are you guys' favourite and least liked-looking card rarities? Uh, and how do you feel about the one true opinion that all foils look awful and high rarity cards should just be harder to pull with no visible difference? Hmm. Wait, you don't, you, wait so they don't, like, they don't like foils? Yeah, so he's saying, what is your opinion on best rarity and why is it that they should all be common? <laughs> so gold rare is 0 out of 10. <clears throat> yeah, no, don't zero. like gold rare. Zero. Don't like gold rare, don't like platinum rare. Platinum Rare is a 1 out of 10. Don't like new ultras. Don't like most secrets. Yeah, new ever since they changed the printing method in like 2017, ultras shit. Don't shit like supers. Here. I like all, yeah. All I'll, new prints are yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like... Let's just preface that, okay? Old secret rares? Old secret rares. Ooh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cleefort Monolith. Oh yeah, Monolith. That's a good. nice secret. Monolith just look, looks good because it's got the the normal monster bit as well. Yeah. So it's like you rarely see it. Part of the thing as well is the colors of the card determine a lot of what it looks like. Like sprite blue in secret looks fucking mint because the blue and like whites and things are just very good as like a a, a secret aesthetic. Borrowed dragon. That's a nice secret rare. Yeah, it is. I was going through my binder the other day and I was like. One day I'll find a way to put this back into a deck. One you can. day. You just won't never get to use it because you'll be dead. Not gold rare, Borrow. No, 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 no. No, secret, secret rare. Secret rare, Borrow. Just, just double checking. Nice card. Just double checking. Yeah, look, it's, it's, we're nearly out of consensus, I reckon. Like, there's, like, obviously some people can prefer certain rarities. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. The old supers, I'm a big sucker for. Old supers are kind of nice. Old ultras as well. Just old foils. They're nice. 
Yeah. Welcome to the Yugi Boomers podcast. <laughs> and Things were they printed didn't better in the old days. days. <laughs> <laughs> Try Horn Dragon Secret Rare. Actually, yeah. Night Night Serpent is Night that the Serpent? One? Yeah. No, is that the one I'm thinking? Yeah, Night Serpent. Dragon. Night is Serpent. that what it's Night Serpent Dragon. Dragon? That's it. I knew. I, no, Night it. End Serpent. Yeah. Night End Serpent. Is that just its name? Yeah, it's it doesn't have dragon in the name. No. Perfect. Yeah. It is a dragon. That one is yes. very nice. I'm. I don't mind some commons and some like there's like some commons where like that looks filthy, like that looks wrong. But there's others where I'm like, oh, actually that makes certain parts of the artwork pop, and I like this now because I can actually see the art. Old secret Jizno. The tin Jizno. Yeah, chin, tin Jizno, ten out of ten. Yeah, tin. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a um, PSV one. I can have a binder. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> I never saw a Jinzo tin, ever. It's because I bought them the moment I fucking got my hands on those motherfuckers. I was like, yes. I'm like, I'll just deal with my XYZ dragon cannon. I'd snap up those Jizno tins, and my parents would be like, we can't afford them. And I'd be like, I'm a cry now. I'm hitting with a cry. So, <laughs> this pops some flack when I say it, and there's very few that agree with me, but Dula Saga Ultras, oh. I love them. I love them so much. Particularly Effect Vela and Potter Duality. Um, yep. Those are some very nice ones. They're not the best of those particular cards, don't get me wrong. Like, the ultis of both of those are five. much nicer. Shut up! But I, I, don't like, like I don't like ulti spells most of the Common time. Duality? Oh. Significantly better. You shut your bitch face. I like Common Duality. No, the Super Duality from the Tim was so nice. Part of my massive fucking issue with Dula Saga is they bend the other way to other cards. I mean, if you keep your cards in good they condition, bend keep them in a so folder easily. Though they bend on the folder. drive home sometimes. They bend. They were bent out of the pack in some cases. Again, if you keep them well, it's fine. But that's, tell that to Konami, not us. Yeah, that's not my problem. Konami's telling you that they put keep it in the shitty packaging and made them bend in the package. Yep, I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> uh shit tier set. It's just expensive. If it was. If it was cheaper, I'll be like, yeah, sure. But they put too much plastic in it. was never going to go down. Damn Duelist Saga. No, that was the box one. It was box with pack of plastic inside. It was like the window. It was similar the... to how it goes from the past with pack. Yeah, it's exactly the same way. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. But the box case was harder. Those, um, those guys from the past were... Ugh. The only thing I didn't like about the way that those were packaged is that the box generally had a hole in the top so it made it almost completely useless for storage yes Ghost in the Past didn't look good no but like is it yeah we ready yeah we ready to talk about that the Ghost Rest and Ghost in the Past uh, just it's because they were all they damaged good. yeah they did have a bad print run with those all damage like what happens when you hire people to make structure decks to make your Ghost Rares oops all damaged you know how, like, uh, sometimes you were printing, like, maybe five ultra rares per thing? Here's the most expensive and coveted product that we have available for mass production. Have fun. <laughs> oh, no problem. Print. <laughs> and those are the shit-looking structure decks, too, because they used to look right. <laughs> but then... Yeah. They need to get right. off this money-saving horse that they got on during COVID and get back to their original factory. Yeah, Ghost Blue as alternate looks shit. Yeah. I don't particularly like main deck ghost rares anyway. Same with like most main deck starlights. Just the orange of effect monsters and things just doesn't look right. Ghost gold MS. Because even the DMG doesn't look good. Like the it's the wrong orange on the rest of the on the rest of the card art. XC's ghost rares are the best. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm, yeah, I'd say the juxtaposition, but I'm not that big a fan of ghost rares either. Similar to how like you don't like certain, like you prefer certain commons because, like, you can see. See the eye, yeah. This is the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing I've never rated about ghosts. Like, I get that there's like a level of prestige to having a ghost rare, but aesthetically, I don't like them. And it's also like uh, this set's only from the last couple of years. I mean, maybe in twenty years, if you start flexing your ghosts from the past ghosts, yeah, how about it? But like, if you used to flex ghosts, it's like, oh yeah, they're a baller, all right, but. Or you buy this. one pack of crossed souls for one dollar, and you pull the ghost rare clear wing. That's pretty solid. Actually, do I have a ghost rare clear wing? I've had like several ghost rares, and I got rid of all of them. I definitely had a ghost skylight at one point. 
I don't think I'd traded it for an ulti. I pulled Ghost I preferred, Black Rose. I preferred the ulti. The ulti looks the really ulti was nice. significantly easier to get. And better looking. Like, in my time of opening those sets, I think I legitimately pulled, like, five ultis and never pulled a ghost. Like, I would have gladly done that trade for you, Jake. Shall well, we go back in time? Yeah, the white on no, your synchros then I would is too sell white. It <laughs> for good money and then just buy one of your five ultis. Why are you being greedy? <laughs> I don't like the naming. I don't like the names on them either. Yeah, that's a bit trash. They should have just kept them as... Um, what what is the I don't I couldn't even tell you what the original Ghost Rare names look like. Ghost Rare, let's go Neos, even though that's the one they're gonna have wrong. Um but yeah, back to the second part of your question. Yeah, you I see. don't think that like the cards should be harder to pull but not aesthetically different. I like the aesthetic changes that certain cards get. Um Fuck magic. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the idea of magic that like a card can look basic as shit, but it's like, oh no, this card's worth seven thousand five hundred and thirty-nine dollars and forty-two cents. Mm -hmm. Got to account for American tax. Yeah. yeah, there was like there was an old magic. I was a magic pack I bought where I'm like, oh, I didn't really get much. It doesn't look like I got much. Oh, that little thing's orange and mythic. Oh, maybe that's something. It was like, oh, damn, it's two hundred dollars. Oh. Hmm. Hey, like, sell this. I'll buy another. <laughs> Like, because the... I imagine it's because the game's designed for children... Tales. ...to an extent that there is an aesthetic difference. Because, like, a kid buying a Magic pack compared to a Yu-Gi-Oh pack, there's, like, a significant visual <laughs> difference when they pull a nice card. Because it's shiny, it's got something going on. Yeah. Like, if a kid pulled a fucking $800 Magic card, for the most part, in most sets, they wouldn't have a fucking clue. Oh, are you sure? Kids these days are on the internet. They know what's worth the money. Yeah, but they're too the busy more. watching Coco Melon. So, today, this is this is something I had to mention earlier. Uh, today, I purchased a new iPhone. Uh, is this just his, like, 10-minute flex position? Yu-Gi-Oh! Prices is no longer on the App Store. Oh, that's because it's trash. Yeah, but I used to use it to get to card text, because I don't want to go through Neuron to navigate to the database. I used to just yeah, open that app and go, type, done. That is one thing I don't particularly like about Neuron, is that its navigation to, like, search for cards is just a little also, bit trash. The UI on the database? Fucking shit. Do you both have the same phone case? We now have identical phones. I'm sure this won't be a problem at all. So, is this stuff it's the phone case, case or the phone? That's the phone case. So that's for the Magna Lock. Oh, okay. Oh, my picture of Josh is gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, oh, I, no. I, I get it. He's gone. Now I, can't I bought help. this phone case twice. Oh, is that where you got Did it? Did you also get yours from Jesse? No. The reason I bought it twice is because Jesse wasn't available. Ah. I bought, the first time around, I bought the wrong size. Uh, Jesse just was like, oh, Jake has this case. And I was like, yeah, it's got MagSafe. I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, look, I kind of like the MagSafe. I've got, like, a little thing in my work desk and it just sits on charge all day and I can do the thing. I don't have to hold it separately. It's great. Yeah, your, your mentioning of it the other day inspired me to get one. Enough product promotion. <laughs> of Next stuff question. That nothing to do with what we're doing. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, so you get prices from that. Well, you have to download it. You have to jailbreak your phone. You have to go and get the original APK, or whatever they call them for I mean, I still have iOS. it in the other phone. It's like... No, you have to jailbreak <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you still have it in the old phone, can you not just download uh, the old data? No. You so, can't? when you get a new phone, you reinstall all of your apps. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It auto downloads them all. Yeah. From the app store. Yeah. So it, it had a little logo saying this file hasn't downloaded yet. And I clicked it and it's like this is no longer available from the app store. You cannot download this file. And I was like, oh. Are you sure it's not in cloud information? Because I no, swear no, you it, can go back it, to apps it, that you've had before. You can. Yes, you can. But it does not let you download it. Oh. It is there. You click it, it says it is no longer available for download. Well, in summary, sucks to be you. Steve Jobs Next question. Decision, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Jobs didn't want Yu-Gi-Oh prices to exist, even though it's been Steve... obsolete as a pricing platform for a while. Also, Steve Jobs has been obsolete for a while. The dude is dead. Very dead. Fuck. I didn't know, Jake. I'm going to break it to you on the podcast. <laughs> Next question comes to us from... Heart. No. Six size six. Uh, when people are mentally going through their combos, why don't they tap the table? It seems like a really common behavioural tick. Uh, is there something that teaches people to do it? 
Um, unfortunately, we invited Logan on to be part of this question, uh, but he was too busy planning out his day and going, I have to go here, and then I'm over there, and then what am I doing after that? I'm going back here. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, basically, I think it's because like you don't have a great deal of stuff that you want to be able to say out loud, and some people need some sort of like motor function yeah. to plan out their thing. Some people are just like, they're all in their head. They barely verbalize a thing. Some people need some sort of action, whether it be verbal or physical, to be able to sort of think. Yeah, like it's... And I've been, for the most part, like, so, some might get on my nerves, but it's like, hey, this this person's... Well, you, yeah, you don't know what the <laughs> neurological stuff there is, so I was like, eh, leave it. Let them tap 200 times. I don't tap, <laughs> I, I draw. Yeah, I have noticed you crack the stylus out sometimes, and you're just like... yeah. I hereby swear. <laughs> it's because I the way my memory works, if I like start drawing, I can still see what I've drawn if I draw onto something. So like if I'm like drawing out like so here go to grave, then add this and then go to I can still see what I've drawn on my previous brain. Motherfucker. Ben's using an iPad as his uh Matt people. He's cheating. Note taking. Uh one this. Yeah, hold on. This, this isn't fair. So let's I'm say, right. like, so Ben has his fucking cracked super brain that can just draw and keep stuff. Yet me, bad brain, can't draw on paper. <laughs> because, like, I don't know if they want to bring in, like, an IQ test to this game. Because I don't think they want to really know how dumb a lot of their players are. Because then skill test. drain would probably be at seven. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I love skill drain. It is at seven, Jake. You it feels it feels like it. Yeah, skill <laughs> drain and three. Yeah, three other drain. Tickaboo. Three penis drain. Three. That's a lot. That is a lot. Moving on, uh, Jesse. With Oceanics coming up for each of you, what what does it mean to see success in Yu-Gi-Oh? From winning worlds to having sparkly decks to having awesome local community. What is the most significant success metric? Um, winning. Achieving your goals. Yeah. Like, if you have a goal of setting out winning, uh, qualifying, all that stuff, do that. If you have different goals, yeah, sure. Lie to yourself. Overset your goals. If you just want to make day two, say you're going to top. That way, when you don't top and you make day two, internally, you've done good. Ben has gone a roundabout way of saying, uh, aim for the moon, that way when you fall, you land on the stars. Huh. See, this is the opposite of how it's just... Oh, I'm just going to do it. Yeah, at the end of the day, my goal is to have fun with whatever I take in. Sometimes it's a meta deck, like Tier Element Ishizu. Sometimes it's blue cards. If I take a meta deck and I don't do well, I find that really unfun. There is that. Sometimes, like, you do... What's the best way to phrase it? You have in your mind that, like, because you've done X and Y and it's done whatever, whatever, you have an expectation to do X. Z. Like, you do Z's well. Z's the next letter you're looking for. Yeah. Or for our American audience. Z. Yes. I normally say Z. I'm impressed that I said Z just in that moment. We should call up your year six English teacher and let them know. I miss him. Um, <laughs> you would have to call prison? My year uh, six teacher was a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't... I feel like that was implied. You didn't need to say it. Anyway. Um, I thought so, yeah. it like tax evasion or the guy that was running a gambling ring with his... Like, with and this kids. is the thing mm. with implication is sometimes you can just leave it and you don't have to say it. But here we are. Anyway, so there's so humor and implication, but there's also humor in calling people pedophile. Yeah, you gotta find the fine line. Yeah, it's funny when they're not a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, sometimes yes, you have an expectation that you're gonna do X, uh, you're gonna do no. some level of success in whatever you take your deck to, and sometimes it doesn't do that. The main thing is not to get hung up on that because. There are so many different variables in this game that sometimes make it out of your control. If it's constantly your fuck up, yeah, be angry at yourself. But, like, there's shit draws, there's opponents luck sacking, there's, like, random shit you didn't account for. 
sometimes like the day just gets on you as well like you're into round 10 you're exhausted as shit some annoying motherfucker is sitting next to you like just screaming in your ear drawing (laughs) (laughs) my teacher would oh sorry rub it out lean on the opponent's (laughs) heels so yeah so it's well it's well and good to have high expectations of yourself but at the same time don't get hung up on the result good or bad it's great to like get a win or do really well but at the same time don't like just put yourself down because you didn't perform up to x standards um so at the end of the day my metric is did i have fun yeah which is normally no yeah most of the time Nah, there's been a couple times where it's like if I've done well, it's not. It's not. It wasn't having fun. It's just like the oh, I achieved it. The, there's the endorphins. Woohoo! Let's do it. But I don't know. I think I'd like to topple YCS. Yes. I think I this. I'd be yeah. I think I'd be lying to myself if I said that wasn't something I'd like to do. Will I get around to it? Yeah. It's going to require a lot. Yeah, I checked before too. Yeah, I suddenly got the impulse that we weren't filming. <laughs> but we're filming. It's fine. It's uh, fine. Yeah. Do you have any specific goals in this? I would like to top a YCS. would be nice. Um, but yeah, it's just really difficult. I've got Pokemon shit to do before that, though. There's... Yeah. So, yeah, there's, 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 there's too many things. Too many things. So much to do and not enough time. Well, not enough time full of me having uh, effort and energy mm-hmm. which yeah because yeah topping a YCS my god you need to do those two full days mm. and whatever you guys do at Oceanics Oceanics is just the the one the tops the next day uh yeah I think so yeah yeah there's definitely two days so yeah it's like first day is just Swiss and then top cut the next day with your dino DNA or not that you should play dinos. I you? wonder how it's I should I kill never, myself. Never. He's not a dino player. Why am I? Absolutely not. There's, there's, you can tell with people. Yeah, you, you and Andrew are dino players. Yeah. I just, I just responded to Andrew looking for he's chasing up some more dino cards. Oh yeah. What, what are you I, doing, Jake? Why are you looking up law? I'm not looking up law. I'm trying to did assist he, us in our next question. Did he get salty yet? What? Did he get solder yet? You, like, yeah, you had a spare yeah, solder yeah, for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jake is so, literally just looking at war. Our next question, Ben. Oh, I know this is question. It's from Mitochondria. Question. Jake doesn't know what Vanquish souls are. I don't know their names. Well, neither do I. And I that That's why be- I was looking them up, Ben, to be helpful. He's not going to pop in the mic with that. He's very, he's being very restrained. Well, no, you see, uh, I turned down the mic sensitivity when I was recording a deck profile and haven't turned it back up. But I didn't want to turn it up halfway through the podcast. And then because, just turn it up in post. Yeah, I'll turn it up in the post. Uh, my answer for this question is the red one. Hmm. So, the question is, if Vanquish Soul was a fighting game, who would you main? Mad Love. <laughs> <laughs> is that the red one? No, the black and white one. Ah. My history in fighting games is that I tend to go for, and I hate that I'm saying this, and I know I'm going to get the piss taken out of me, the women. Yeah. So I Jake think... Jake loves Soul Calibur. I didn't mind that game. <laughs> I didn't mind that game. It was the one that had like a razor hula hoop. Yeah, and no clothes. Sometimes. Yeah, I used to play the Nunchuck Man. Nunchuck. Well, none of the vanquished have nunchucks. True. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> based on my history in fighting games, I would probably end up going with, uh, what's her name? Soul Pantella. Is that the red one? Oh, Pantera. Dun, 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 dun. Pantella. L. Isn't it Pantera? Right, to a, to a Pantera song I didn't know, I think. Which Pantera song did you choose? Pantera. I don't know, is it Pantera? Pantera? Um, is that a hard well, Domination. Uh, well, I mean, that was Warp, but Domination is probably my favourite. Okay. So is this one the one you're counting as the red one? Yeah, that one. Kaiser Vary? No, that's definitely not his name. No. Yeah, the translation on this one is quite bad. So Wait, yeah, you're probably a, is correct. Is it Evolution of Kaiser Seahorse? No. Okay, sure. Next question. Next question is also from Mitochondria. 
Uh, if you come across a deck that you don't have a familiar matchup knowledge against in an event, okay. what is the quickest way to event- identify the choke points for such a deck? Blindly stare at your opponent. <laughs> just vacant stare and just go, yep. Yep. Yeah, so that's... Then say Im- thinking, and if they look <laughs> nervous, use your hand trap. That's it. Just read your opponent. It's not a terrible play. Every time yeah. they make a critical play, go thinking, and if they look worried... Drop the hand trap. Do it. So yeah, that's one way. Uh, reading the opponent as opposed to reading the deck because um, UK players don't read. Now, here's um, the thing. I can't read people, so... Uh, but, like, in a general in a general sense, though, like, some of those cards is like, oh, okay, that seems... Oh, that has an add from deck effect. Oh, maybe this is where I ash. But it's like, for all I know, the other four monsters is Arctarch also searching, and that's the Arctarch's gimmick. So like shotgunning it there, I yeah, I'm not actually sure. Don't the Ember reading the people... main deck versus 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 what are they called now? Vanquish VS. Souls or VS. VS. Yeah. Uh, don't main don't imperm the main deck monsters. It's a dumb idea. Hit the extra deck one. It can't mm-hmm. bounce. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, yeah. Another thing is like Bragg was saying, like look for the <laughs> things that seem good. Like if it's searching a thing from the deck, if it's summoning from deck in particular, the big things generally summon from deck yeah like there's been like oh, there was, I couldn't even tell you the deck I was watching with Master Jewel where I'm like oh sure summon that I'll figure whatever you summon I'll just sort that out and they summon a piece of shit and I'm like oh well that's weird or horrible off you go so yeah just yeah there's also like just gambling at that point where it's like oh what are the odds that they'll have a card that does that mm. but also just yeah, read I guess get familiar with more like more decks there is that too like there does come a point where like you become at least somewhat aware of what most decks do and your matchups yeah and generally speaking like for the most part if you're versing a deck that you're unfamiliar with it's probably still susceptible to the same shit that most other decks are susceptible to yeah I mean or yeah because that's the reason it's there like the reason it's here and topping like if you're like if you're eight and two and you're versing someone that with a deck you've never seen before, which I doubt, like it's like, oh, they probably have the same the same choke points and stuff because the meta is the meta. Big brain. Uh, next question is from six r six. What makes you hate a certain deck? Is it how uh, your duels against it have gone, uh, or the type of player that plays them? <laughs> it's <laughs> the amount of text on main deck monsters. Yeah. If main deck monsters have a fuckload of text, I probably ain't gonna like that deck that much. Like Drytron. Also, that if the, also if the art all looks the same. Yeah. These which... are all me- methods of me not liking a deck. Because also with Drytron, a lot of text as well. on the main deck, art looks the same. I'm out. Because then explaining <laughs> the cards is like, oh, all right. Well, if there's like a whole bunch of stuff here, I've got to explain it every time, and it gets annoying. So yeah. Also, when Stay your opponent from. like plays one, and you're like, okay, so you've used that one, cool. And then they play another, and you're like, you've used that one already. You're like, no, 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 this is a different one. See? And then you squint, and you're like, oh, fuck it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Off you go. Um, generally speaking, for me, the decks that end up like being in my hate pile, of which there are many, uh, uh, yeah, many, generally, there's do... like five decks you'd like. That's not true at all. Name it's six. Six. <laughs> okay. Invoked. Dogmatica. Ignista, Time Thief, Tear Element, Wind Witch, yeah. Speedroid. You like Speedroids? Mayakashi. I don't mind them. I don't you know. Why Mayakashi? Yeah, well, the Bone Mill specifically. Ugh. Jake didn't even say branded. I'm really impressed. Anyway, um, so yeah, generally speaking, there's two categories that they fall into the decks I don't like. Um, either the people that play them, <coughs> um, yeah. I can rant on forever about that one. Uh, or the play style. Um, I don't particularly like like super heavy control slash stun decks. Well, you don't need to worry about super heavy now. True. Um, I don't really like the idea of someone's game plan being to completely restrict you from playing. Um, like The kind of point of this game is to have back and forth. So someone coming in and going, oh no, I'm just going to play these three cards that prevent you from playing at all. Like, go fuck yourself. But why don't you like Kashira? Because it does that. 
Not. And it does it off one card. Not. There, there's lots of other cards in that deck that you play just to go back and forth. It's it's a very back and forth and fair deck, Jake. And you just hate it. It's not just me that hates it, actually. As I said on the podcast, everyone, everyone at States said it's a garbage format. That's just because it's everywhere. No, also... Yeah, we've seen people bitch about every format. Like, even with Time Wizard 2010. Oh my god, people fucking hated it. One of my biggest issues but... with players and talking about the format is when they say they hate diverse formats. Like, people will be like, like probably, oh, I love tier format. What'd you play? Tier? What'd you play against? Tier? It was a great format. Yeah. Okay. People just don't like formats where there's five different decks that you can play and feasibly do well. People are gonna hate that, and I that pisses me off so much because I I love formats like that. I like both. Yeah. I like I like the ebb and flow of it. Like oh, sometimes we have a top deck as long as it's not top <laughs> for fucking too long. <clears throat> Sky Striker. It's not top anymore. No. Oh my god. I like getting card advantage in um, OTK. Well, pushing the damage. That's my play style. Point. I like Lightning Storm at two. Yeah. I draw it more. <laughs> he did. That's I legitimately a, that's a saw, skill issue. <laughs> I saw Lightning Storm every time I needed it on Tuesday night. And you don't see too many Lightning Storms yeah. either. You never see two of it. But I saw it every time I needed it. Yes, he did. It was great. Lightning Storm at two should have happened ages ago. Just also, play- now you can play a nice, neat three card package in your extra deck of Storm Storm Harpies. Storm Storm Regeki. It's fantastic. The way you pronounce it hurts me so much. Uh, just search it off thrust. <coughs> no, no need to do that. You just draw it. Use it. Okay. Next question. Next question from Frogger, and it is our last question. Uh, I have heard plenty of discussions of what the absolute best deck in the history of the game is, uh, but what do you believe are the top worst decks, excluding randomly thrown together uh, playgrounds, piles of decks, or decks that are just aged poorly. What are the top decks that you believe were awful at the release, and that the legacy still exists to this day? The early Union stuff. Yeah, yeah the very start well, of like. Do you count ABC as support for that? No. No. No, it's light machine shit. Okay. That's ABC. ABC like was always kind of separate of that Union stuff where it was like, yeah, A, it's sort of It was using thing. Union, but more of anything, it was like contact fuse machine type thing. The vampire tree. Gemini's. The second golem. <laughs> Gemini's were fucking awful. Holy shit. Oh yeah, no, Gemini's are probably up Batland there. boxes. L- Look. It's a bit early to speak to them. They made some, they're getting support. They made some rank fours at a time where rank fours were like, not everyone was spamming rank fours. They were around. Battle and boxes were... They were fine. Uh, you'd put them in the bottom... You'd put them in the bottom 30% of decks. I'd say one of the worst ones that we've had in more recent history was Warrock. Oh, yeah. That, that was really bad. <clears throat> Good was concept. It, was Warrock so bad the OCG didn't give them a support card? No, they got a support card. Oh, okay. Must have been just as bad. Eh... Uh, yeah, that's a look. I'm what sure they did. I'm sure they got... Um, they, yeah, they got two spells. <laughs> Battle phase spells, because why wouldn't they be? How much is War Rock Mountain nowadays? I can't imagine. That's a lot. Continue, Jake. Throw out your concepts. Um, well, I said mine. Ah. And you're yeah, now well, researching I mean... mine further. Yeah. War Rock Mountain. Did it ever get reprinted? Uh, I can't see why. War Rock Mountain on eBay? Three dollars and sixty cents. That worst, is three dollars and fifty nine cents too much. Worst deck. The original Endymion sucked. Uh, if this guy had a playset. I would have bought him. Yeah, the original Endymion was kind of garbo. But obviously, that's better that's now. I guess. Words. Really good. Yeah. Um, uh, all you need to do is give it another one hundred and ten words of text. Oh yeah. One hundred and nine. Not one hundred and ten. No, no, no. It didn't need other. You could have cut that. It, I think it had two. <laughs> just one you need two <laughs> just one cut it it's okay yeah I'm struggling especially now because like everything I've listed off like has been given supplemental <coughs> support yeah, maybe it is War Rock 
Well, we're off pretty bad. Yeah. We're off pretty bad. Because, I mean, they never got a top, did they? Ever. Right? No, I don't think so. I don't think they even topped on if you can't, Yeah, if you can't even get a surprise top on release... Yeah, that... I, oh. at, a, at, a, at a crappy regionals or a New Zealand locals, like, if I haven't seen... It's enough. Uh, like, of course there's TCG. I'm wondering if there's any other TCG ones that have been real bad. Dream Mirror? Actually, someone else suggested Dream Mirror. Uh, Mitochondria suggested Dream Mirror was quite bad. It is. Some guys posted a list saying it's a top locals deck profile. Man finished top four at locals. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing that I'd give Dream Mirror that I wouldn't give War Rock is that it's at least interesting. They sort of went a bit kooky with the archetype. It's yeah. not amazing, but at least they tried something. <laughs> at what? least you tried. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll give them that. Like, it's interesting. And then the OCG stuff at least made it like, oh, you could think about playing it with, like, the fusion and stuff. Like, it can do some stuff. Yeah. It's just yeah. Not amazing stuff. On YouTube, there are three first place War Rock Locals deck profiles. And we've had them three. for, what, three years? It's a long time. Have we? Yeah, it was 2020. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It would explain why I don't remember a lot of it because it would have been over COVID. What's it? I can't check. What's it? It came out in New Year Practice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if it was Echo. Was it Echo? I don't know. Oh, yeah. If I go back to the eBay listing I was just on, that'll tell me. It was in uh, Blob. Blazing Vortex. When was that set? Oh, the um, the stupid, uh, the chairs, the scepter. Uh, the, oh, the, the Star Seraphs. Second... Yeah, Star Those yeah. were busted in other decks. <laughs> were they? <laughs> yeah, like Sticking Chair in Heralds was like... So that yeah, was really chair good. In OCG, busted. yeah. I want to look up deck representation over here in tops because I won like there a was... couple locals playing the stick chair heralds and people used to bitch about it. Understandable, sir. Yeah. Stick ben, chair heralds ben with Dooby. a little package. The other, the, what you've got, they went with. Chronomaly sucks. No, that last round of support they got, I'm fairly sure it did well at least one or two events. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Like, really recent support? Uh, it was like a year ago. Yeah. So, the, the issue is, we didn't get the support the OCG had until, like, a year and a half after. Yeah. We didn't get, like, um... What was it? <coughs> um... Nebra Disc? No, no. Disc? They got a new XE's like, a year ago. Sorry? He's winking. Winky Disc. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. I did no idea what you were trying to say to me. I was so confused. But, yeah, we didn't uh, get Nebra Disc until a lot later. Let's have a looky loo here. We got uh, uh we got first place. The Nebra disc links. How, how do I how do I spell it? Normally. Crow. Yep. No. Mally. Mally. M A L Y. First place chronomaly deck profile. Oh, very oh. tough to find getting here on eBay. On, eBay. Uh, on That's probably half your problem. <laughs> Searching for top deck profiles on eBay. Yeah, uh, let's. You know what? I rescind my last statement. It did not do well. I wonder if that's a side hustle someone's ever tried to do, like run a YouTube and post like first place profiles, and then sold the deck card for card. Surely. Surely. Like surely top play, like not that I would um, condone this at all, <coughs> but surely some top players like out there going. Oh yeah, this deck's amazing. Like they've just got some dude that supply them with all the fucking shit from the set, and they just sell like pre cons of like top tier decks. See, Jake, you'll notice that they all have sponsorships from uh, Card Kingdom and TCG Player, available in the link in the description, which is promoted <laughs> at the start of the deck profile. Fine, Star Seraphs have plenty of tops. Wait, is that then the tallest one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Four, 40 tops in May 2015 oh, that's so long ago it's nearly 10 years ago you missed a great transition point there to transition to the end of the podcast but you missed it I just didn't rate them the Satellas were carrying that I fucking hate I never had a problem with them just if you change. beat me with them at locals I would be like ah oh, well done you're still running shit cards <laughs> 
the stick chair? It was a drawing. Congratulations yeah, on your deck. Yeah. You're still a fourth rate dually. <laughs> it's a third rate deck. <laughs> Uh, but that does conclude us all uh, for tonight. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, feel free to favourite us if you're uh, listening along. Like us on YouTube. Uh, jump into our Discord and ask us some questions for next week. And we will catch you all then. Peace.